Still can't believe he ate it. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Goa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy, that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and a life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. A thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal.
These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? You're... dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive. And reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come. Let us not be distracted. Son of a bitch.
I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over eager. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Starkath the Mighty, he was called. But I can just tell you the story later. Worth a shot. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disc. 